I watched The Iron Petticoat because I love Catherine Hepburn and I want to watch everything she's done and I don't have that many of her films left and to be honest, had she not been in this, this film wouldn't have come to my attention and I dare say, had it done, I probably wouldn't have watched it because it didn't sound like my kind of film. Now, there are plenty of films that I watch because of somebody who's in them and while they don't sound like my kind of film, I end up loving them. The Iron Petticoat is not that film. And I feel like if I had more background knowledge, it might have been a bit more enjoyable. But I also have to say I really didn't like, well, I was going to say I didn't like Catherine Hepburn in this. I didn't like the character she played or indeed the accent that she used. And that's not to fault her performance. It's just, it's not what I look for in a Catherine Hepburn film. This was released in 1956. It's directed by Ralph Thomas. And Wikipedia describes it as a Cold War comedy film. And given that I know nothing about the Cold War, but basically next to nothing about the Cold War, for a lot of this film, I didn't really know what was going on. And that's not the film's fault. That is my fault and the significant gaps in my knowledge. But I think it's worth pointing out there that if you are in a similar position as me, it might not be the clearest. And there were several things that I had to Google, things that I had to kind of look up to keep on top of it. And I really didn't enjoy it. And the Catherine Hepburn angle, I love her and I love watching her, but I didn't like listening to her. And I hate I hate even thinking about that because I don't want to think that. But it's true. She plays a character called Vinka and she lands a Soviet Air Force jet and is captured by the United States Armed Forces. And while um, while there, a character called Chuck, Captain Chuck Lockwood, played by Bob Hope, is tasked with convincing her to join the side of capitalism. Meanwhile, she's trying to convince him about the benefits of communism and the obviously two opposing characters or two opposing beliefs spending a lot of time together. It gave us some interesting discussions and I will say the, the passion in their words was very clear and their dedication to their beliefs was very clear and I think it was very well written and the performances in that regard were really good. But I still, I cannot say that I enjoyed Catherine Hepburn's performance in this because I didn't like her in that role. I didn't like her as that character. I can't necessarily say I didn't like that character. Specifically, I didn't really feel anything about the character. But I feel like the narrative for me was just really heavy and a little bit confusing at times because, as I said, my knowledge of the Cold War is not not as good as it should be. And I just didn't find any of it enjoyable. Occasionally, I found the interactions between Hepburn and Hope or Vinka and Chuck to be interesting enough because they were, I think, well-written characters, but not enough for me to say I liked this film and I didn't care about any of the characters. I didn't care about the narrative. There were times when I didn't really understand the narrative. I obviously made the effort to catch up with it and there's a decent description on Wikipedia and I, I I did a little bit of reading. So I did actually learn a little bit more about the Cold War. So credit to the film, it gave me the opportunity to learn a bit more. But not enough for me to say I could enjoy this and I could have fun with it. Considering it's a comedy, I laughed no times. Not at all. And I did not like it. So maybe if you have a lot of knowledge about the Cold War... There will be jokes in this that make you laugh. I'd love to know if that's the case. Or indeed the opposite. If you're knowledgeable about the Cold War and didn't find it funny, I'd be very keen to to hear that as well. But from my perspective, it's not a good film. It's not a film to watch if you have little to no background information. And even if you're a big fan of Catherine Hepburn, obviously I'd say watch it to say you've seen it. If I was watching it with the sound off, it might have been okay. But otherwise, I I really didn't enjoy it. The Iron Petticoat is not a film that I had fun with at all. <laughs>